students we have been learning very interesting unit that is a unit number 6 seed dormancy and germination in the last lecture we have got idea actually how the external and internal factors are imposing seed dormancy also we have got idea about what is dormancy that is resting period that yesterday we have in last lecture i will say that not in the yesterday we have learned now today also we have to get idea about the endogenous seed dormancy isn't it endogenous seed do in the sense internal factors which are imposing but here you have to keep in mind this type of seed dormancy is imposed by rudimentary or undeveloped embryo we know that whenever the seeds are produced by the plant at that time the embryo remain undeveloped or sometimes rudimentary means it requires some time after harvesting you have to keep in mind after the maturity of a seed also it takes time for its mature means embryo maturations and that type of embryo which has which is a undeveloped or rudimentary is there so there are again five types of endogenous seed dormancy are there first one that is physiological dormancy definitely that is because of physiology morphological dormancy that is because of morphological conditions morpho physio mean in the sense both both are going to impose the dormancy that is morphological barriers are there physiological barriers are there and that always prevents the emergence of a embryo or we have to say that development of embryo into a radical and plumular further development that is nothing but the plant being germination never takes place because of morphological and physiological factors again combination in the exo endo you have to keep in mind internal factor as well as external factor both are going to impose in that so secondary dormancy is also there so these are the five types of the endogenous seed dormancy now physiological dormancy we have to first of all keep in mind this dormancy most of times cannot be we have to say that uh, broken or most of times i have said to you so actually most of prevalent which is the most prevalent and very common type of seed dormancy that is a physiological dormancy and that we can find in case of a many plants or most probably in case of the gymnosperms is a naked seeded plants gymnosperms and all the major families of angiosperms we can find the physiological dormancy into that some examples also are there uh, that for your kind of information there is arabidopsis sunflower lactuca sativa maje patri lycopersicon esculenta means mirchi nicotiana I means we have to say that the uh, tambaku so these and many other cereals are cereals are nothing but the jowari bajri gahu maka isn't it that are the cereals so that cereals so these many type of a plant shows the rudimentary undeveloped means seeds of this plant shows presence of a undeveloped or rudimentary embryo at the time of ripening or maturity of a fruits or seeds we have to say that now physiological physiological dormancy again classified into a subtype that is a deep intermediate non deep photodormancy thermodormancy epicotyl dormancy double dormancy secondary dormancy again subtypes are there of the physiological dormancy so what is deep dormancy so we know that seeds are said to have a physiological dormancy isn't it this is a sub type of physiological dormancy means the embryo excised such as seeds either do not grow or will produce abnormal seedlings suppose we have taken out the embryo from the seeds and allowed to grow it will not first of all grow embryo into the plant or germinate and also if suppose it grows it produces abnormal seedlings so 
whenever such a type of a dormancy is there, that we have to say that a deep dormancy because of physiological deep dormancy. GA treatment does not break their dormancy. Already I have said to you, most of the physiological dormancies are there in the seeds which cannot be broken by application of a gibberellic acid. I'll suppose we succeed to do that one, not that is possible in case of the all plant species. That you have to keep in mind, what I am going to tell to you. There is a no such type of a 100% solution that we can use just to break the physiological dormancy of a seed. In some seeds, some plants it is possible. In some gymnosperm it is possible, but it may not be possible to the all one that you have to keep in mind. So deep dormancy we have studied now, what is intermediate dormancy? Seeds with intermediate physiological dormancy will produce a normal seedling when embryos are excised from such a seeds. Embryo, suppose we have separated from the seed and allowed to germinate, then that can be germinated by pro providing favorable conditions to that one. That is possible. Such a type of physiological dormancy is known as an intermediate, isn't it? Now, GA treatment promotes the germination most, but not in case of all species. Yes. GA can do that one, which cannot be possible in case of deep physiological dormancy. But intermediate physiological dormancy in case of that one, it is possible to promote the germination by application of a or by treating the GA. But not that is possible in case of the all species. Yes. Again, seed requires two to three months of a cold stratification. Two to three months. Isn't it so? Wow, we have to say that. When such a type of dormancy is there in the plant species or seeds of the plant, then that is nothing but the intermediate. Now, non-deep dormancy produces normal seedlings when embryos are excised from these seeds. Total, we have to say that opposite characters we can find in case of the deep dormancy. Non-deep dormancy means that is not that much deep, physiological deep dormancy. So, suppose we have excised the embryo from the seeds, which never we have to say that allows to embryo uh, germinate or produce a uh, further plant that is possible by removing suppose we have removed the embryo in the sense what we have done we have escaped the embryo from the inhibitors whatever present into the seeds physiological uh, chemical compounds are there mechanical things are there so that physiological dormancy uh, causing uh, we have to say that factors are there that factors we have thrown away by removing, by excising only embryo. GA treatment can break this dormancy. GA we can use to break the non-deep physiological dormancy. Depending on special dormancy can be broken by scarification. We know that mechanical that is seed hard seed coat that we can scarify that we have to learn. After ripening the dry storage and cold 0 to 100 degrees centigrade or warm Temperature less than 15 degrees centigrade also can be used just to break the physiological dormancy. Now, thermodormancy is there. We know that there are some plants like the lettuce, 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 celery, pansy. They never germinate unless or until the temperature is below the 24 degrees centigrade. Whenever such a type of a such a type of a dormancy is there in the seed, that dormancy is to be known as a thermodormancy, but physiological thermodormancy. Epigotal dormancy is also there. Means seeds remain, which seeds germinate but remain dormant in the absence of chilling treatment. Polygonum is there. Isn't it? It is special type of the dormancy. That type of a period of dormancy is known as a epicotyl dormancy, which is known as epicotyl dormancy. Now, students, we know that scientists, researchers, physiologists, taxonomists, or we have to say that the other biologist is the common word we will be used or the the fellows who are dealing with the life science, they are interested, they are always trying to develop a plants which can help to the human, which can help to the mankind by any way. Means suppose for the eating purposes, for the so they are interested in case of 
and that all these things are possible only when and when we will increase the germination percentage we know that because of dormancy the seed remain ungerminate so there is a no germination means no further development of the plant no further development no yield isn't it so we have to break the dormancy artificially naturally no doubt in the nature many factors are there they are breaking the dormancy naturally of the plant uh, seeds but human being after learning many more factors doing a hard work they have developed as many techniques many methodologies which are used to break the seed dormancy here we have to learn the scarification is the one of the most important methodology which is used for the breaking of sediments stratification is there laboratory treatments are there so with the help of these three most important methodology we can break the seed dormancy in the sense we will make that plant uh, that seed to germinate isn't it we will make that plant to germinate isn't it that is nothing but the breaking of a seed dormancy now scarification what is scarification scarification is nothing but the softening of the seed coat and other coverings mechanically with the help of sand paper hammer knife tumbler hot water dipping isn't it means that temperature maybe of that water is in between 77 to 100 degree centigrade so these scarification is the method in this method we have to soften the seed coat and other mechanical coverings with the help of we have to say that scratching little bit breaking for example i will tell to you suppose we know that we are having in our hand most important seed that is of a we have to say tamarind chinch chinchok apan jar ghetla tar te chinchukacha je covering hai te hard hai te jar apan sand paper na ghasla तो ते हार्ड सीड कोट कस होना सॉफ्टन होत पानी आत लगे जाए आत एम्ब्रिओपर्यंत पानी जाऊन इम्बाइ होन एम्ब्रिओ लगे जर्मिनेट हो शको पन तो लगे जर्मिनेट न होना नैचरली का बैरियर है तो हार्ड सीड कोट समझा कैस्टर घया एरंड एरंडी या हार्ड सीड कोट है समझा अपन भेमुगा शेंग घेंग ब्रेक न करता तीस आखी पेरली लवकर झाड़ उगव नहीं नैचरली ज्याला सीडकोट सॉफ्टन विल मैक्रोब्स विल हेल्प टू सॉफ्टन दैट वन इन द सॉइल एंड देन द जर्मिनेशन विल टेक प्लेट विल टेक सम टाइम इजंट इट एंड स्कैरिफिकेशन इज नथिंग बट द सॉफ्टनिंग ऑफ सीडकोट एंड अदर कवरिंग इजंट इट मेकैनिकली वी कैन डू ऑल दीज थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ सैंड पेपर घता हेमर घतो चाकू घे टम्बलर घे हॉट वॉटर ट्रीटमेंट डिपिंग अल another methods of the scarification that is nothing but the acid scarification here we have to use h2so4 or hcl isn't it but keep in mind after using acid for the scarification of the seed immediately the seeds are to be washed in such a way that so that to remove the part and partial of the acid from the seeds otherwise as we know that acids are very dangerous that may can kill or burn the seed or can cause damage to the embryo so we have to be a little bit careful at the time of using a sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid for the scarification or softening of a seed coat of the hard seeds another warm moist scarification seeds kept in a warm moist soil only that will help to soften the seed coat my friends now second method major method main method after scarification that is a stratification friends you have to keep in mind strata means layer l a y e r that is thir is that it the term stratification means placing the seeds in the layers of a 
मॉइश्चर रिटेनिंग अशा थरामध्ये ठेवायचं अशा मीडियमच्या थरामध्ये ठेवायचं की ज्याच्यामध्ये मॉइश्चर रिटेन म्हणजे मॉइश्चर शूड बी रिमेन दॅर फॉर लॉंग टाईम विदाऊट ड्रायंग अँड सच वी हॅव टू यूज फॉर दॅट वन मीडिया कुठले वापरायचे आहेत पीठ मॉस आहे सॉडस्ट आहे सँड आहे अलॉंग विथ दॅट वन लो टेम्परेचर अँड मॉइश्चर आर व्हेरी स्पेशल फीचर्स ऑफ दिस मेथड लो टेम्परेचर अँड मॉइश्चर मॉइश्चर कशामुळे होल्ड होणार आहे बिकॉज ऑफ वी हॅव टू सेट पीट मॉस सॉडस्ट किंवा सँड असे थर लो टेम्परेचरचे आपण त्या त्या थरामध्ये सीड्स ठेवून द्यायचे वी हॅव टू कीप द सीड्स दॅर अँड व्हेन एव्हर दॅट मेथडॉलॉजी विल हेल्प दॅट प्रोसेस ऑफ कीपिंग सीड्स इन अ व्हेरियस लो टेम्परेचर अँड मॉइश्चर रिटेनिंग मॉइश्चर कंटेनिंग लेयर्स दॅट मेथड इज म्हणजे स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन इजंट इट वेन सीड्स आर स्ट्रॅटिफाईड कीप इन माइंड स्टुडंट्स ॲज वी हॅव सीन इन केस ऑफ द ॲसिड्स स्कॅरिफिकेशन वेन द सीड्स आर स्ट्रॅटिफाईड दे आर केप्ट इन अ प्लास्टिक बॅग इमिडिएटली अँड स्टोर्ड ॲट लो टेम्परेचर इजंट इट स्टो स्टोर ॲट ए लो टेम्परेचर प्लास्टिक बॅग्स आर पिरोडिकली अगेन एरिएशन वी हॅव टू बिकॉज वी नो दॅट सपोज वी हॅव केप्ट द स्ट्रॅटिफाईड सीड्स इन टू द प्लास्टिक बॅग पॅक देर इज नो एरिएशन देन देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ डॅमेजिंग ऑफ ए एम्ब्रिओ डॅमेजिंग ऑफ ए और प्रॉडक्शन ऑफ ए टॉक्झिक सबस्टन्सेस इजंट इट अँड दॅट मे कॅन अगेन अफेक्ट टू द एम्ब्रिओ ऑल दो वी हॅव ब्रोकन द डॉर्मसी ऑफ द सीड बाय युजिंग द प्रोसेस स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन फर्दर असो द स्टेप्स वी हॅव टू ऑलवेज फॉलो केअरफुली सायंटिफिकली आय विल से दॅट नाव रेफ्रिजरेटेड स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन मोस्ट ऑफ टाईम्स नो डाऊट लेअर्स वी कॅन कीप इन रेफ्रिजरेटर ॲट लो टेम्परेचर टू ब्रेक द सीड डॉर्मस इन दॅट टाईप ऑफ मेथड इज नोन ॲज अ रेफ्रिजरेटेड जरेटेड स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन इजंट इट नाव आउटडोअर स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन इज ऑल्सो अनादर टाईप नॅचरल स्ट्रॅटिफिकेशन बाय आउटडोअर प्लांटिंग इज दॅर मीन्स इन केस ऑफ आउटडोअर सीड्स केप्ट इन आउटडोअर ड्युरिंग द विंटर इन द पीड्स और नॅचरल रेजड बेड्स इजंट इट सपोज वी डोंट हॅव द आर्टिफिशियल मेथडॉलॉजी विथ अस जस्ट टू ब्रेक द सीड डॉर्मन सी मीन्स टू स्ट्रॅटिफाय द सीड्स इजंट इट at that time we can use the winter season also there to break the dormancy of the seeds we can wait for that one means outdoor isn't it we have to keep outside because we know that in the room temperature is a hot although there is a winter but outside there is a natural winter cold atmosphere is there and that will help to break the so that is nothing but the outdoor stratification natural stratification by outdoor planting also possible isn't it so these are the some sub methodologies which are used to break the dormancy that is a stratification now third main type laboratory treatment first we have studied methods of breaking of dormancy in that one first one that is a scarification second one stratification third one laboratory treatments we can use the laboratory treatment just to break the dormancy because already we know that why made such a type of many methodologies are there many sub types methods are there to break the seed dormancy such a question arises in your mind but my friends you have to keep in mind each and every plant having its own we have to say that genetical constitution again if we will go at molecular level so each and every seed having we have to say that its characteristic that make and response to one methodology sometimes we, we have to use both methodologies isn't it one interesting example i will tell to you which i have uh, used in my research work at the time of uh, working for my phd degree so in that one i found that aliorhopus lagopardis and sporobolus madras patterns both are the grasses these grasses were showing only 60 to 63% germination isn't it 63 to 60 germination but i tried i developed one of the method what i have done 
द फेलोज हू हैव गॉट द सिक्सटी सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी थ्री सीड जर्मिनेशन इन एलोरोपस लैगोपॉडिस एंड स्पोरोबलस मटैर मटरस पटर्नस दे वे आर सोकिंग द सीड्स फॉर ओनली ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स बट वॉट आई हैव डन आई हैव इनक्रीज द सोकिंग पीरियड ऑफ दैट सीड्स ऑफ द ग्रासेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन वॉट हैपन द सीड्स आई हैव सोकड इन ए वॉटर फॉर फोर्टी एट आवर्स एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन आई गॉट हंड्रेड पर्सेंट जर्मिनेशन ऑफ दीज टू ग्रासेस सो दैट इज माई रिसर्च वर्ल्ड सो दिस सच टाइप ऑफ एज एज ऑलरेडी आई हैव सेट यू मेनी मोर मेथडोलॉजीज आर देर दैट वी कैन यूज जस्ट टू ब्रेक द सीट डॉर्मस एंड वाई सच टाइप ऑफ मेनी मेयर मेथडोलॉजीज आर देर बिकॉज वील हैव टू कीप इन माइंड जेनेटिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और द प्लांट्स वेर दे आर ग्रोइंग और नेचर ऑफ द प्लांट और वे हैव टू से दैट एनवायरमेंट फैक्टर्स और वे हैव टू से दैट इन एबिटेबर्स और वे हैव मेनी मोर थिंग्स आर देर इज एंड इट सो मेनी मेथड्स आर देर लेबोरेटरी ट्रीटमेंट थर्ड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड दैट फॉर ब्रेकिंग ऑफ डॉर्मेंस इज देयर प्री चिलिंग इन द सेंस कोल्ड टेम्परेचर वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड टू द सीड बिफोर द इम्बिबिशन और इम्बाइब द सीड्स आर स्टोर्ड एट फाइव टू टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड और फाइव टू सेवन डेज प्रायर टू द सीड जर्मिनेशन प्री ड्राइंग इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सीड्स केप्ट फॉर ड्राइंग टू द थर्टी सेवन टू फोर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड फॉर फाइव टू सेवन डेज प्रायर टू जर्मिनेशन alternate temperature also will help to break the seed dormancy in laboratory it is possible to us alternate temperature means 15 to 20 degree centigrade and 30 degree centigrade so there is a alternate we have to provide first we have to give a 15 to 20 degree centigrade temperature treatment to the seeds for 16 hours again we have to give the 30 degree temperature again we have to repeat the process that is of a low temperature 15 to 20 degree so alternate methods also helps to break the seed dormancy light exposure seeds exposed to the light at high intensity for at least 8 hours daily isn't it potassium nitrate also we can use the percentage is also fixed the 0.1 to 0.2% potassium nitrate so these methodologies are used to break the seed dormancy my friends you will have to go through all these things you can work with this one also you will be able to develop another new methodology will be help which will help very easily to break the seed dormancy the seeds you can collect which are about you fruit seeds are there many more are there that you can collect you can see the germination how the things are going to happen which changes are helping to increase the percentage of seed germination so that is most important thing that we will have to always concentrate on the increasing percentage of the seed germination because that will that is directly proportional to the increase in the number of plant and we have to say that leads to the increase in yield okay another methodology hydrogen peroxide also we can use isn't it h2o2 percentage is also given here we have to soak the seeds into uh, h2o2 hormones are there we know that ga is going to help but percentage is 100 to 200 ppm or kinetin 50 to 100 ppm that we have to soak for 12 to 24 hours into that one means that things helps to again leaching of inhibitors we know that because of some presence of a inhibitors into the seed or cotyledon embryo never germinate isn't it so for that one we have to kept in warm water overnight to leach the inhibitors of the uh, germination uh, inhibitor of the germination out so for the germination suppose inhibitors we have removed barriers we have taken out of the seeds by soaking or by dipping seeds into the we have to say that warm water overnight but warm is not more than 100 degree centigrade only 50 40 70 that is depends upon the sensitiveness of the seed uh, seed coat of the seed isn't it then combined or combination treatments as already i have said to you many more seeds are required the combined in the scarification is also required and stratification is also required again laboratory treatment may be can be used by that uh, required for the germination of the seeds or breaking the dormancy of the seeds friends with this i want to stop this my lecture but what you have to do you have to do exercise you have to do experiment at your level that will help you to improve your knowledge understand about the breaking of dormancy methodology again what is dormancy which factors are responsible for um, keeping seed into dormant conditions okay thank you very much